Okay, welcome to SpeedCalc, the spreadsheet for the Commodore 64. The first thing we need to do is use the F1 key to change the border colors. After that, use the F3 key to change the background color. And then F5 for the text color. We can select what cell we want to edit using the cursor keys. And when we start editing the cell, the letters will appear in the upper left corner until you hit enter, then it will update the highlighted cell. And in the upper right corner, SpeedCalc will identify the type of text that you've entered. T's for text. I'm going to enter some expenses here. These are the titles. I'm going to enter some costs. And if you look in the upper right corner, you'll see an N stands for numeric data. Okay, next I'm going to enter a formula to sum all of these cells together. All formulas have to start with the equal sign. The formula I'm going to use is at sum. And then in parentheses, you put the first cell, which is AC from the top and 004 from the left, then a colon and AC006, and it will sum all of those cells together. And you can see I have my sum at the bottom. And you'll see an F in the upper right corner for formula. Now if I make a change, I can hit the left arrow key and it will update the sheet. And you can see I'm up to 2600 now. Next, if we want to save our sheet, hit F8. Then enter the name of the file you want to save it as. And you should get the OK at the top. And now to load, hit F7 and the name of the file. You can also see the disk directory by hitting Control 4. Now to print this to the directory, move to the bottom right corner of your data and hit shift control P, then choose D for disk, give it a file name, and this will print it to a sequential file that we will be able to eventually import into a speed script document. Now you can use control R to turn on or off auto sheet recalculation. So I've just turned recalculation on. So we'll update and I shouldn't have to use the left arrow. Okay. Recalculation is on, but if you're working on your spreadsheet and you can't remember if you turned it on or off, you can hit shift control R to check the status of auto recalculation and recalculation is on. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.